Welcome back to Still in the Game. Joining me now is former Jackson State and NFL star James Marshall. James, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you, Rob. Well, James, you had a brilliant career, not only at Jackson State, but in the NFL. Just talk a little bit about, um, you know, you starting out at Jackson State. And w what did that mean to you? Well, it meant all the things in the world uh, to get a chance to attend Jackson State University. I attended uh, for four years and, and uh, finished at Jackson State. I uh, got my degree in accounting and everything. And uh, everything worked out. I left in 74, graduated uh, and went to Dallas. Unfortunately, I didn't make Dallas team that year and I went to the Canadian League and played for about six and a half years. So it was great uh, with the opportunity to uh, perform at Jackson State University. Well, James, just talk a little bit about, um, you know, when, when you played at JSU, the talent level that you guys had on those teams that you played on. It was uh, an extreme uh, amount of uh, competition. You know, I've never seen, I've uh, never been involved with a bunch of guys with uh, that talent level. You know, they, they speak of uh, the University of Miami and, and uh, Alabama and everything, but I've never experienced the kind of competition that I had at Jackson State. You know, we had uh, Walter Payton and Robert Brazil. Eddie Payton, you know, Rodney Phillips, Jeffrey Moore, all those kind of guys, you know, first class talent all the way. Uh, playing at Jackson State, uh, you have nothing to be ashamed of on the talent level. And, and you know what, James, uh, Willie Richardson told me that you were the greatest player that he'd ever seen <laughs> in college. Uh, let's talk about how you played and, uh, you know, your style of play. Well, uh, I was uh, brought up to believe that uh, you prepare, you know, to play, and uh, I got that from uh, one of our coaches. Uh, coach Gordon was my defensive back coach. He recruited me and everything, and preparation uh, was always film watching to get an exceptionally knowledge of the game. You know, it's what I believed in, uh, preparation. I made sure I was ready to play. And uh, that helped me uh, be able to compete on a high level. Do you have one game that stood out in your mind uh, when you played at Jackson State? You know, everybody wanted to beat Alcorn. Was that rivalry the same back then? Yes, it was a great rivalry. We didn't have to uh, uh, get too much motivation to get ready for Alcorn. I had my greatest games uh, against Alcorn State. And uh, I enjoyed playing them. And uh, the competition was real good, real great at that level. What was it about Alcorn that had you guys fired up? I mean, how did that rivalry start? I asked some of the other guys, but how did the rivalry with Alcorn and Jackson State start? I tell you, Rob, uh, uh, when they were recruiting me, that was uh, Alcorn and Jackson State was at my home at the same time. You know, and uh, uh, my mother, uh, Coach Gordon, had called uh, and asked my mother not to make any decision before he got there. And uh, I think Coach Gordon and Coach McGowan from Alcorn, Rat McGowan. Rat McGowan was recruiting. <laughs> right, was, was at my home at the same time. So uh, the. Uh, Rivalry between Alcorn and Jackson State have always existed. Uh, the re one of the reasons I came to Jackson State was the year before I signed, I saw Eddie Payton run a screenplay all the way back for a touchdown against Alcorn. And uh, I used to tease him all the time. I said, uh, you know, Eddie, you really did a good job on that screen, and you know, you can't compliment it it is a well I know <laughs> <laughs> no you can't compliment him at all James yeah. well James uh, you then you went to play pro football so tell me you about your career in pro football well my uh, I left uh, Jackson State in 1974 I gave up my last year of eligibility 
because I had uh, knee surgery. I had two knee operations uh, my senior year, uh, and once in baseball in the summer, and again against Gramlin uh, about the second game of the season. So uh, uh, I went on to Dallas as a free agent the following year. I didn't make their team, and then I left and went to uh, Canadian League. I spent uh, six and a half years over in the Canadian League. So that's how my career got started. Wow. What, what was it like going to Canada to play, you know, being a guy from Mississippi? It was extremely difficult. It was different. It was, it was an enjoyment because they gave me a chance to, to, to play and do what I wanted to do uh, since I didn't make Dallas team that year. I had a chance, opportunity to go to a place called Saskatchewan, Canada. And uh, they used to always tickle me and uh, they would make the statement that uh, Saskatchewan said was not the end of the world, but you could see it from there. <laughs> so, you know, it was quite an experience and, and I enjoyed the uh, experience very well. Well, James, does any one game stand out in your career, whether it's college or pro? Yes, it does. Uh, I would say uh, during my whole career, it was the Alcorn game at Jackson State University. It stood out quite well because it was such a rivalry and uh, everybody was intense about what was going on. So, you know, I guess I enjoyed that quite well. Wow, well, James, you had a fantastic career. Uh, is there any advice you would give a young person who is thinking about playing football? You know, they have all the issues with concussions and all of that. Would you steer a, a young man towards football or away from football, considering all the, the problems that they have with it now? Well, uh, Rob, I would, I would love to, to see a young man uh, pursue his uh, career goals in football, but I would li also like for him to get the proper techniques and tackling and uh, way to approach uh, the fundamentals so he won't get injured, you understand? But uh, I will still encourage it because it's such a competitive edge and spirit that it gives a young man, you know, I would, I would suggest it.